Hey everybody, it's Sherry Allen with Weikert Realtors and we're here today in Stonebridge in Woodbridge. Um, it's, a, it's a town center essentially, a place to come and gather. You can eat, you can play, there's a movie theater behind us. Um, but we wanted to talk to the property manager, uh, better known aka as the mayor of Stonebridge, Anastasia. Me. Hello and everybody! <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a, a really a good early session talking to Anastasia by So Stonebridge I think was originally started because there's there's not a, a downtown for Woodbridge. So we the original developers and builders wanted to create the downtown feel. So we've got lots of elements that kind of have acted as you know, as a downtown, as a main street. We now have a nice street where you can walk with your family, bring your out-of-town guests, go for dinner. We do a really amazing, it has been compared, not by me, but to other folks, by as the Rockefeller tree lighting. We light a 40-foot Christmas tree every winter here. Wow, um, you do? Yeah. Didn't know that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're having all kinds of fun things. Yeah, we do a huge <laughs> tree lighting where we've got carriage rides and face painters and it's it's a great carriage rides. Yeah, a great kickoff. <laughs> she's like moving. She's she's buying a house from herself <laughs> now and moving to the side of the county. Um, we do all kinds of. We really are a great center for you know whether you're a, you've got a family, you're the baby boomers that have retired, they're looking for a place to go eat and grab some drinks with friends or dinner. We kind of have you all covered. We do concerts twice a month that are outdoor concerts where you do you see. We've got a grassy space that inevitably turns into romper room. Some kid brings a ball and next thing you know we're all playing kickball or soccer or something. You know, mom and dad and grandpa or whoever are just hanging out enjoying the live music. At the other end we've got a splash pad that kids can, you know, play in all summer long. And then in the winter we'll cover that all up and put in an ice skating rink. You know, oh, wow. Temporary Very cool. ice skating rinks. So we really, you know, have got all ages, you know, all demographics covered as far as activities. Even if you don't want to shop, if you don't have any money to spend or you don't need to buy anything, you can still just come hang out, grab a bite to eat. You know, between Starbucks and all of our restaurants, we've got we've got you covered. So the vision then for Stonebridge would be to create a downtown Main Street area for people to come and gather um, and to enjoy family and friend activity. That's it. But this helps create that atmosphere of community, which I think is so important. Um, and I, I honestly think, at least from my perspective as an agent, People want that. They do. People crave that, and it's very difficult to find. So you're starting to see this kind of community thing popping up, um, and it's nice to know that Woodbridge finally, we finally have something comparable, and it has so much more to offer than I realized. I let me let me go to events first because that's my, you know, that's one of my favorite things here that happens at Stonebridge. It's a great way to, you know, to get all those different age brackets and demographics together, and you know, you can watch, you know, kids just having a blast. You know, kicking a ball or splashing around. We do kids' events every Wednesday morning for, you know, oh, nice. you know, I call it man with man. You know, man with guitar comes and sings. You know, Old McDonald or whatever, and entertains them and burns off some energy. Um, we do movies when our screen is up and running. You know, we do concerts. We've got various festivals and stuff throughout the year, which all can be found on our Facebook page and our website. In addition to all of that fun stuff, we also have Alamo Theater Draft House, which is a, an amazing movie theater that one of the best things about it is they, they want you to come and disconnect for the time for the length of that movie. You can come, sit with your family, get dinner, drinks, just come enjoy their, their patio bar. They've got one of the nicest patios in Stonebridge because it looks out over this grassy area that we're, right. that we're sitting in right now. Um, and they do interactive movies, she was telling us earlier, which is oh so cool. Yeah, they, all kinds of Think Rocky Horror, but with every kind of movie you could possibly imagine. And then we've got great shopping for those who who don't want to hang out or have already hung out and want to go on. Look, we've got, you know, REI, the Apple Store, J. Jill, Chico's, and restaurants that are, are you know, fantastic. We've got our own brewery that's on site that you know, they brew beer right here at Stonebridge. Firebirds is behind us. We've got a great little bakery called the Cake Boutique that just opened up. Um, there's a wow, that sounds there's a yummy. there's a candy store that's just a local you know husband and wife you know open it up to, to create her English candy store. What's really cool about Stonebridge is that you see a lot of national tenants, the Old Navy, the Apple, right. the RAs, intermixed with local local businesses who have taken a chance and said, you know, I want I know I can make it at Stonebridge, you know, like I said with the candy store and the bakery and the brewery, they've all come here and said we can make this. You know, and they all live in this area. They're all from Prince William County. You know, a lot of Dumfries, Woodbridge area. So it's it's great that 
people Local who live people. here are realizing and investing in their community that is Woodbridge or is Stonebridge, I should say. It's sort of self-sustaining when you think of it that way. You've got local people starting businesses, bringing in families. If you have something for everybody, then you can cap it's a captive audience. You can keep mm -hmm. them here, see a movie, the kids can play, you can have something to eat, you can shop. So in that sense, it really does help sustain and build this community yep. of Stonebridge. Yep. And as we say, you know, Stonebridge has got something for everybody, so it's we're not you know, skewing either really young or really old or, you know, we've kind of got everybody, everybody covered. And you love it, right? I do. I, it's Stonebridge. I could talk about Stonebridge for the next 25 years. Apparently, but it sounds like it would be super fun to come down. It's a down. great place to, to have potential clients come and meet at Starbucks or the bakery. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yes, we can all come meet here. <laughs> or get a coffee and come sit on the green space. I would, but just in terms of entertainment and um, going to the draft cinema, which, mm -hmm. you know, I think most people think Potomac Mills Mall, which is fine, but this is unique in the it sense is. that it's more interactive. Yep. Um, and then you can kind of step out and enjoy a, an event yep. or something to eat. Come on a, a, a early morning and read a book while it's still quiet here. It's a great little... Yeah, you could spend an entire day here. Yep. That's what we want you to do. I might do that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anastasia, we appreciate it. No we really problem. Do it. My if, pleasure. If you could let everybody know the um, website they should go to. Yeah. So our website for Stonebridge is stonebridgeptc.com or you can find us on Facebook by just looking up Stonebridge. Wow, super easy. Well, everybody, we think you should come on down. You're probably familiar with it, but come back. There's a lot of new stuff going on, and um, I think it's really exciting. We're going to be spending some time down here. So give Anastasia a call. Stop in and see her. Her office is behind P.F. Chang's. We finally found it. Um, or give us a call, and we'll give you some tips. Thanks so much. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Take care.